No bad guys here today, just plenty of gorgeous murals after mural after mural, adorning just about every available surface here in Old Town. The history of murals in Lucerne, and in Switzerland for that matter, is a long and pretty one, with each mural telling a different story. The purpose or themes are everything from religious to political or to chronicling an important family or trade guild. As we explore a few of my favorites, please note how I coordinated my outfit to match those murals. Have you ever seen so much color? This is the wine market, the oldest square here in Lucerne. And as you could probably guess by its name, it was originally a market that eventually specialized in only selling wine. And around the square, it is surrounded by all these beautiful, colorful murals and plenty of those old shop signs that were created back when people couldn't read, but they could only see the signs, so they needed to be told where the shops were. One good one is right here, that red one. You can see that meat cleaver. That told everybody that that is where the butcher was. And if you look kind of a little bit further back in gold there, you can see a bunch of grapes. Of course, a tribute to the wine market. Making our way around, you see this big green building and a religious scene. This is a very creative way of telling the story of Jesus turning water into wine which is perfect since, of course, we are in the wine market. Let's make our way around here again. A lot of the squares here have these beautiful ornate fountains, and this square is no different. This particular square commemorates something very important for Lucerne. It was the gathering once a year of Lucerne men of military age. They had to bring their weapons to show that they were ready for battle, just in case. But the good news is, today we have no need of weapons. In fact, I have one more really beautiful, colorful building to show you that's just around the corner. And this is the old town hall and courthouse. Isn't it gorgeous? It dates back to at least the 13th century. Way up at the top, can you see all those beautiful blue and yellow and white tiles? And then as you make your way down, there is a whole lot of mural to take in, telling all kinds of history. Now, over the centuries after it was a town hall and courthouse, it became the guild hall for the archers, which is why we see Saint Sebastian on there. He was the patron saint of archers. And then as we make our way down, you can see all sorts of other imagery, including justice, holding the scales of justice, which actually brings us all the way to the modern day, because can you look closely there at the entrance there where those guys are walking? Can you see the name of the hotel? Hotel de Balance, as in balancing the scales of justice. Mm -hmm. 